Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. Today's video is all about my Tory Burch shoes. Um, I have four pairs, four pairs of Tory Burch shoes. I don't have any purses, uh, I don't have any sandals. All I have are Riva flats. And I've had several questions about them because I wear them in some videos. Um, I've had several questions about fit and size and comfortable uh, factor and just kind of, you know, information, I guess, as well as uh, just people who want to see my Tory Burch collection. I don't consider it a collection. I only have four pairs. Um, I don't collect them by any means. Uh, I just like them. I really, really do like them. They are comfortable to me. I know um, several people who have gone out, bought them, and hated them, uh, and returned them. My sister-in-law, as a matter of fact, went out and bought a pair that I have, a pair of black patent ones uh, that I have because she likes them every time I wear them. And they are the most uncomfortable shoes for her ever. And she, I mean, every time I have seen her has been asking me how I can stand those shoes because they are just not comfortable on her foot. Um, so yeah, a little bit of information as far as, you know, you guys know Tory Burch, the little things. Uh, my first pair of Tory Burch shoes, my husband bought me as an incentive to wear flat shoes because when I first got married, um, I was a heel-aholic. That's all I wanted to wear were high heels. I wore high heels everywhere, literally everywhere. And my husband was always telling me, you need to wear some flat shoes because we're gonna be somewhere it's kind of uneven. And I was the hard-headed person that would wear the heels anyway because I just liked them, okay? I have, um, my feet are not comfortable in flats. They never have been. A high heel is far more comfortable for me than a, a flat shoe. So that was kind of my excuse for wearing high heels all the time. When I got pregnant with my daughter, I wore them the entire time I was pregnant against everybody's wishes. Everybody would tell me, you need to stop that. You're going to hurt yourself. I mean, everybody had an opinion on my high heels when I was pregnant. And I did it anyway. I did it after my, sis my sister. My daughter was born. Um, I would wear my heels everywhere. I just, I love high heels. Then my daughter was born um, early December for Christmas. My husband said, I bought you these shoes. They're flat. I bought them. They're Tory Burch. You know, I think you'll wear them. I think you'll love them. They're not cheap. You know, I bought you a nice pair because I want you to wear flats. So, like I said, he bought them as an incentive. Now, my first pair were the black, let's see. Yeah, the black patent Jelly Reba. And this is a size seven and a half. And I will show them to you guys. These are them. They're just black patent leathers, and I love them. I mean, I love them as soon as I put them on. Um, they have the T's on the bottom, and these are about, how old are you? You're gonna be four. Yeah, you'll be four in December. So these are about four years old, and they've worn extremely well. Extremely well. Um, I wear these almost, you know, every week. Every week, at least once, I would say, I wear these, because I wear them just, you know, on the weekends to dinner um, also. So these are my only pair of black flats. And, you know, I like them. Um, my husband chose them. He liked them because they were all black, okay? He did not really care for the black with the gold or the black with the silver uh, medallion. He liked them because they were all black. And then he liked the kind of patent leather, you know, because it's kind of, it kind of dresses up your flat a little bit. So you've got, you know, a dressy flat you can wear um, whenever you need to. So, I like them. They're casual, they're dressy, depending on what I wear. And it ended up to be a great shoe. Now, the first couple of times that I wore these shoes, they killed my feet. Literally killed my feet. They hurt so bad. And they hurt here, right in here, and then back here. Because this, you can see it stretches to go around your foot. That really hurt my, um, the back of the heel, the back of my, shoe, my foot. So first couple of times my feet were so torn up I mean just they felt really bad um, and then I would go as far as to say that even the first no, no. what honey you got back in the okay even the first I would say two or three months that I had these babies they hurt my feet I mean and it was you know I would wear them take them off and my feet were actually hurting now uh, four years later, these are the most comfortable shoes that I own, and that is the honest-to-goodness truth. They don't hurt anymore. Of course, 
I had to wear the men. They had to, you know, they get their little wrinkles and, you know, all that stuff. And they take the shape of your foot. I mean, they really do. I had to wear the men, though, for them to do that. And I think that is what, you know, my sister-in-law, she has these. And she really, really wants to love them. Only she went up a size, too. She went, like, up, I think, to an 8. And she said that wasn't even comfortable for her, either. So... I don't know. I mean, to me, if you can get through the, you know, pain of breaking them in, they are a great shoe. If you can't, then I don't, you know, don't even try. Because if you can't, um, I guess, tolerate it, then it's not worth it. So, there's that one. Now, my second pair, or my second and third pair, were my jellies. And my husband bought those for me, too, because... Once again, they were an incentive because I would only wear, you know, black flats if I had to. They were an incentive to wear more flat shoes. And he saw these, we were at Nordstrom one day, and he saw a pair on a girl. Um, and he liked the way they looked because they were jelly, you know, looking. So he really liked the look that it gave. Uh, she was wearing these. These are the jelly magenta. They're Tory Burch magenta shoes. Um, and they're, you know, they're jelly. So they're great for... Like when it's wet, you know, instead of a rain boot, especially here in Houston, you don't want to wear a rain boot. It's just too darn hot all the time. Um, so these are great when, when it rains. I find myself going to these or the blue pair uh, all the time. So here is the medallion on these. Just, you know, if you've noticed so far, you will notice in all my Tory Burch shoes, I don't care for the big, black, the big silver or gold disc. I just like it kind of, you know, to be a little bit more toned down. Um, there's the bottom. It's got the T's here and then here, and it says Tory Burch right there. Um, these are cheaper than the other Rebas. These, I believe, are 95. The black patent ones are a little bit more expensive than the regular line. I want to say they were 210. Um, I'm not sure. I think they are. Um, these, like I said, are cheaper, so they're about $95. Um, and I don't believe these come in half sizes. Yeah, that was a problem with these. Okay, my husband, because I'm a seven and a half, my husband went up a size, yes, and got me eights. So, oh, here's the other color. I have the turquoise and the magenta. This is more, uh, I think, pink than purple, but it's supposed to be a little more purple than pink, but it's not. It's more pink. And then these are just a true turquoise, turquoise color. Wow. Anyhow. Um, he went up at the sales girl's suggestion, went up half a size because I'm a seven and a half and they don't make them in half sizes, so he got me an eight. They were enormous, so freaking big that they were gaping all around my entire foot. So I had to take them back and just get size seven, and that is what these are. They're just a size seven um, Rivas, and they, they fit fine. They don't pinch or anything. Um, these... Wow. were a lot easier wow. to break in Can't than my <laughs> other Rebus and the patent ones, uh, only because they're jelly. So, you know, they, they stretch, they give, you know, there's nothing you can, you know, they're just jelly shoes, um, you know, like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to wash my hands because look at the bottom of my shoes, um, you know. So they, they just get, they wear easy. Mommy. And they don't make my feet sweat. I know that's always a, a concern when it comes to jelly shoes. They have these little kind of holes right there that allow moisture out, but they don't make my, my feet sweat at all. I really enjoy those. Um, so those are my next, that was my second and my third pair. And he got both colors because he couldn't decide. And I believe these were my birthday present um, one year. So yeah, he got two colors because he liked them both. So there's that. And then, um, yes, honey. Because I started to enjoy wearing my Tory Burch flats so much, I uh, started to, I think I made a comment one year, or last year sometime, that, what, Eva? I made a comment about how, you know, oh, I've got black flats, I need to get a pair of brown ones, and, you know, to wear with my clothes. So, for Christmas, not last year, the year before, I don't know how long. How long have I had these? I think these are two years old. Yeah. So for Christmas, um, I guess about two Christmases ago, he bought the brown pair. And these have come in um, close to my favorites also. <sighs> Let's see. Here they are. Okay, so here's the brown, you see that? Hair. 
and they're just the brown pebbled leather. You can see the pebble. And they are the same Riva that I have, uh, just in the brown color, the tan. I think it, they call it Royal Tan. It's a Riva tumbled leather Royal Tan, seven and a half. And once again, no silver, no gold, just the neutral color to the shoe. I like that. And then I don't have to worry about matching my golds, my silver on, you know, the silver on the medallion to the gold or silver on my purse or my belt. Or I don't have to worry about any of that. I just throw them on and I like the way they look. Um, there's the T. You guys see that? And it has the same. Now, these were so much easier to break in than my patent leather ones. The patent leather doesn't have a lot of give to it, so you, it really, I had to work at getting those broken in. Um, these with the pebbled leather, because the leather just has more give to it, were easier to break in. Now, once again, when I first put them on, they were not comfortable. And I'm going to just go ahead and say that these shoes are not gonna be comfortable. Um, Tory Burch Rivas when you first buy them. They're just not. Uh, you have to break them in. You just do. And once you do, they're the most comfortable shoes in the world. These, I mean, these are my black patent ones. Are They're my go-to shoes. I just love them. I can't tell you enough about them. If you are patient enough to break them in, that's the only if. Because, like I said, I know people that just, they can't, they cannot give it you know, the time of the day because they just hurt them and they can't tolerate that. And I understand, I understand, I completely understand if you can't tolerate breaking in a shoe, I I don't blame you. Um, I just did. I don't know if it was just because I wanted to love these shoes so much that I gave them the um, benefit of, of the doubt and just kept wearing them regardless of how much they hurt my feet. Uh, and because I did that, they are the most comfortable shoes I own now. I don't know. Anyhow, these once again have that. Um, and this little, that's from the sticker. I hate stickers on the bottom of shoes. I don't think anybody wants to know that my shoes are seven and a half and they were made in China. So I, that is the first thing I do from a pair of shoes when I get them, is I remove the size and I remove the little sticker that says made in wherever. Cause yeah, I just, I hate that. Especially on a high heel when you're walking around and you can see the sticker, I don't like that. Anyway, so that's what that's from and I hadn't cleaned it off. Uh, but yeah, sorry. I probably should have cleaned the bottom of my shoes before I showed you guys my shoes. Um, but who cleans the bottom of their shoes? Yeah, usually they just go on the floor. I don't know, anyhow. So, I'm sure somebody out there probably does. <laughs> anyhow, here's these, like I said, and that's my fourth pair. Um, I don't think I will ever own a pair with a silver or a gold disc on it. I just, I think those are too, like, in your face when, yes, honey, when you wear them. I just prefer the look of the solid, you know, one color shoe with no gold or silver tone on it. Um, those are the only four pairs that I wear. And like I said, I buy true to my size. Seven and a half is what I wear. Seven and a half is what I buy or what my husband has bought. I have never gone out and picked up a pair of Tory Burch on my own. Um, these I think were 195 too. It's very rare that I will spend money on shoes. Um, yeah, it just, it just is. Most of my shoes tend to be under $100. Uh, so yeah, I won't really do it for myself on my own. My husband is the one that goes out and buys me all of my nice, more expensive um, footwear. Only because he he's a big believer in you spend money on your shoes, your shoes will last you. And um, he has shoes that he's had for years that are very, very nice. And you know he wears them when he dresses up and all that stuff. And, and they look beautiful. I had just never really been that way about shoes. I was like, okay, you know, I mean, it's a shoe. I'll just wear a shoe. I do, however, I have since changed my opinion. I do like my nicer shoes, um, but it takes a lot. You know, it takes a lot to spend some money on shoes. And I know these are not cheap. I mean, they're Tory Burch and they're not cheap. I know that. So, like I said, I have never gone into a store and picked up a pair and said, I'm taking these and bought them. My husband has bought me all four pairs of my Tory Burches. Now, with that said, I do have a list of Tory Burch that I want. Um, I want this shoe, the exact same Tory Reba, in, I think it's called Royal Blue, which is a navy, and also gray, which is all gray. Uh, and then I also wanted red, but I've kind of thrown the red out the window. I really don't care for the red anymore. I don't know why. Um, but they're all the same, like, you know, without the silver or the gold disc. And those are the only two others that I really, really do want. They have nice... Um, like thong sandals, but I don't like thong sandals because I don't like the flapping against the back of your foot. I don't like that when I walk. Um, I prefer something that straps around my ankle. 
They have nice sandals. They've got excellent wedges. They have the Tory Burches and wedge if you like a wedge. I don't like the open toe Tory Burch wedges, um, and that's just my personal preference. I just prefer the flat to the wedge, the way it looks. Um, what else? That's it. I know you can get them on sale uh, because the Jelly Rivas that my husband bought me, he bought those on sale. They weren't full price. I want to say they were 70 a piece and he may have gotten one for even less. I think one pair was 40 and that was like a Nordstrom sale that he got an alert on and it just happened to be around the time of my birthday so they were my birthday present. Um, but like I said, you can get Tory Burch on sale uh, and you can also get it like Nordstrom Rack and stuff like that if you're lucky enough. I am never lucky enough to find anything nice on sale that I like. Um, however, like I said, he got those on sale so you can find them on sale. Uh, what else? I don't know about buying them online. I've never purchased anything, any your shoes from Amazon or you know any of those places, but I know I've seen them for sale so you can definitely try that. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. I'm trying to think what other questions anybody's asked me in regards to the Tory Burch Rebas. Uh, if you, like I said, if you have the patience and you have the, uh, you can give them the benefit of the doubt, they are the most comfortable shoes you will ever own. If you can't tolerate it, I completely understand um, because they are kind of a, a chore to break in. So anyhow, there's my little four Tory Burch uh, collection and I hope that helped some of you guys with your questions. If you have other questions, just you know, put them below and, and I'll, I, I answer everything. You guys know that I respond to every note or comment or anything. So go ahead and you know, just ask away and I'll be happy to answer. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.